Mm, mm, mm. Canada is freaking Canada is so beautiful. Ah, here I am. Uh, this is a spot I, I arrived in the evening. Actually, I took a day off. Yesterday, I woke up to some terrible news uh, about the Las Vegas uh, mass shooting. And uh, I gotta say, in a selfish kind of way, I was really glad that I woke up in Canada. Um, I really think that Canada reflects my views more than the United States when it comes to a lot of issues. And I was thinking about it, and I think while I'm here, I'm gonna apply for permanent res residence and uh, eventually try and get Canadian citizenship. I just don't think anything's really significant. It's gonna change in my lifetime in the States. And it is just so freaking beautiful up here and the people are so friendly. So, good morning. Hello from Canada. I hope to be Canadian one day. Also, I don't know if I mentioned in a video, but I have started to put Amazon affiliate links um, in my t uh, video description. So if you guys could please use those, this is why. Uh, if you buy anything from Amazon, uh, I will make a small percentage and it won't cost you a penny. So for those people who may not be the, uh, you know, like Patreon kinds of people, obviously I haven't set that up yet. Um, if you do buy anything on Amazon, uh, just come click on a link, even if it's not that uh, particular product. Uh, I will get a very small commission, and like I said, it's not going to raise the price uh, for you. But what it will do is it'll help support me, and it, it'll help put Diesel in the uh, Dan the Adventure Bus here. So thank you in advance for that. It really does make a difference because I, I just made 40 bucks and I turned it on like a week ago. So that's pretty cool. can see that but we've got the uh, smoky brakes syndrome again so uh, I am <laughs> yeah, I've been going down the steep hill for quite a while and I was going pretty slow it wasn't like the last time where both the buses had um, smoky brakes but I smelled something a little funky almost like an electrical um, Kind of fire. All right, seems like there's no more smoke, so let's put this baby in L and just creep down the hill. All right, so we are doing a hike called Sombrio, if I read that correctly, Sombrio. And um, apparently you can uh, camp out in the back country um, for a pretty reasonable price, but since I'm gonna be doing the, uh, just a day hike, just for the afternoon, I don't think I have to pay, plus I have the um, Canada 150 National Parks Pass, so I think I'm covered. So, I don't know, we'll find out. <laughs> Point four km, which I think is maybe like quarter mile. Also, this is part of the Juan de Fuca, Fuca Trail, and if I remember correctly, it goes all the way up the coast, which would be freaking awesome to do one day. Um, that sounds like a lot of fun. Definitely more a summertime <laughs> activity, but um, ah, that would be super, super cool. It's so beautiful up here, as you can see. Dude, look at how sick this place is. So, people are just kind of hiking back and forth over here. It looks like somebody's got uh, some kind of 
towel drying or something like that, and a little campsite, like right on the freaking sand, right on the beach. Man, this is incredible. So there are bears in the area, so this is where you keep your foods, nice uh, toilets down here, and then you just camp over there. Um, it's a very short hike, unless you want to go up and down the coast a bit, but uh, I'm going to get back in the bus and keep heading to the northwest. Avatar Grove. Not really sure which way to go. You can go up or you can go down. Um, I wanted to go down before, so why don't we go up? Also, here's the sign. Ooh, Canada's gnarliest tree. Well, I like gnarly stuff, so that's a good sign. There are so many roots growing everywhere and like trees growing on trees like right here. Um, it is quite spectacular. Look, like, look at this. This, <laughs> this is so nuts. Like this is a walkway. It's so awesome out here. This is Canada's gnarliest tree, although I don't know what kind of tree it is. Let's go have a closer look. There we go, we got some beautiful root system. And right there we have a gigantic gnarl. That's very gnarly. As you can see, we're back on the road going over a wooden bridge. Wow, look at how pretty that is. Looks like fall is uh, fast approaching. Um, so, we are, uh, the destination, like I said, is Tofino. We're gonna try and get another, ooh, I don't know, hour or so from here, and then uh, find some little pullout and call it home. It is now 
7 o'clock. Uh, like I said, trying to stick to a new uh, plan, schedule of uh, less, I don't know, less hours driving. So, yeah, anytime it gets like sunset, 6, 7, I want to stop because otherwise um, I just get in a situation where I just get way too tired. So, um, this will be home for tonight. Let's go uh, have a peek in a sec. Here's the rooftop view. Uh, the moon looks like it is out and it looks completely, completely full tonight. That's awesome. Uh, I'm out here in the middle of some, um, some logging area. Uh, there are some cut down trees over here. Here's some newly planted stuff. Anyways, uh, I love Canada. Canada's awesome. One other thing I did not mention yet was how clean it is. Um, and of course... <laughs> Proving me wrong is a little bit of trash here, but I think this is kind of a, perhaps a popular popular pullout, but all the little trails I went on, most of the roads, hardly any trash. Um, if I remember correctly, I think it's like a $10,000 fine to litter. Um, so, yay Canada for that. Um, anyways, yeah, this is a beautiful country. I could definitely call this place home. Woo! It is cold. I uh, had some soup, some veggies, you know, the usual. Anyways, I know your time is valuable and I appreciate it. Appreciate you spending it with me. I'll see you guys back on the road tomorrow.